Hello everyone, in this video let's talk more about the HDRI images in Cinema 4D and how we can use them. So let's get started. At first let me tell you that HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image, meaning it holds better under higher values of exposures and the lower values because the image contains more data that can be used to handle the colors better. HDRIs are used to replicate a lighting setup that you have in real life lighting setup and then using them inside your 3D software. For example, a studio lighting setup or a forest or any outdoor location that you would like or prefer. So let's talk about the resources or where you can get these HDRI images. There is a website called HDRI Haven. You can find a lot of the HDRI images there and you can download and use them for free. All you have to do is pick any one that you'd like, press, and then you can choose the resolution you want from 1K to 16K and then download it. After downloading it, you would find the extension .hdr and that would be the extension that we're going to use inside Cinema 4D, so let's just get there. And here we are in Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you how you can use the HDRI images using the physical or the standard renderer, and then I'll show you how you can do this inside Arnold. Let's start with the physical renderer press ctrl b and then make sure that your render is on the physical and then head to options and uncheck the default lighting and close the render setting let's add some simple objects so that we can test our hdri image first add a plane make it a bit bigger and then add a sphere press e and lift it up a bit Make it smaller around 50 centimeters and duplicate it two times and then in the attribute manager while selecting the last duplicate hit to go coordinates and then put a 300 in the X and then choose sphere number one under coordinate make it minus 300 and then open the materials manager head to create classic material and new standard material double click on it and check the color and the reflection and then check on the luminance i already have my hdri images ready so i'll just grab one of them and drop it next to the texture here this one resembles a studio setup Let's close the materials editor. To use the HDRI image, we need sky, so let's add one. Click on this icon here, it will add a sky in your scene. And then grab our material and drop it on the sky. Let's close our materials manager and zoom out a bit. Let's try to see what's going on in the viewport. It's our HDRI image. We're seeing the studio setup that we have. A side note, if you want a better quality of your HDRI image inside your um, viewport, head to the material that you have made in the materials manager. And right under the viewport, increase the texture preview size to the maximum if you want. And there you go. Let's close the materials editor and let's make three materials for our spheres head to create classic and new standard material let's make a three duplicates we will leave one as it is and just apply it and the other two one would be a metal so double click on it open the materials editor and head to reflectance let's remove this layer and add a backman under the attenuation, instead of average, let's choose metal. And for the layer for now, uh, instead of uh, off, let's use conductors and use the iron um, preset. 
let's increase the roughness to 15 and that would be it for this material let's apply it to one of the spheres for the last one let's make a glass uh, close the color click on the transparency uh, close the material editor and apply it to the first sphere now close the materials manager select any of the three spheres in the objects manager and press on the letter s by pressing on the letter s the viewport will frame the selected object as you can see so now let's adjust the view bit and it's time for the render setting hit ctrl b and under effect let's add the ambient occlusion effect and then the global elimination under global elimination for the, the secondary method let's use urgent cache and for the samples custom sample count press on this arrow and let's increase this to 1k24 and under physical the sampling quality instead of low let's choose medium and then close the render setting and hit ctrl r to render the viewport and this would be the lighting that we're getting just from our hdri image without adding any light sources let's say that we don't want to see our sky in the render if we hit this dot right here like this and turn it into a red dot and try to press ctrl r you will find that it's completely black because it's disabling all the effect of the sky in the render so let's turn it back just click on it so the solution is right click on the sky and under render tags choose composting and remove the check next to scene by camera and Let's render it again by pressing Ctrl R and there you go. I'll try another HDRI image. So press on the materials manager's icon and then double click here on the luminance or the material that we have our HDRI image in. Let's grab another HDRI image and drop it here in the texture. After it loads, let's close our uh, materials editor and again let's uh, press on Ctrl R. Let's close our materials manager. Press on the sky object under coordinates. You can find the XYZ positions. Changing these three won't do you any good. If you want to change the light direction, all you need to do is using the rotation values. Same goes for any kind of sky object, you will only use the uh, rotation values. Let's rotate it in the edge and take a render. Let's uh, hit Ctrl R. As you can see, we moved the light source to this area around here. That would be it for the physical renderer. Now it's Arnold's time, so hit Ctrl V instead of physical let's use arnold remove the ambient and the global elimination and close the render setting then head to the object manager and delete the sky object that we have here and now go to the arnold's menu and choose arnold sky and now let's open up the ibr window head to arnold and then choose ibr window and then Put it on the right, around here, looks great. Choose the Arnold Sky from the Object Manager and then choose the Main tab. Arnold Sky is a bit different, you can choose any color that you would like. Head to this arrow around here and choose constant and then right here you can find the colors. Choose any color that you'd prefer and use that as your ambient color but we are interested in the hdri images so we will choose texture and drag any hdri image that we would like and drop it here it's loading 
we can disable the HDRI image or the sky in Arnold and prevent it from appearing in the renders under the main tab go down till you find this here the camera and instead of one use zero you will get the ambient effect from the sky but it will not be visible in the render itself and that would be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something